So when you come into a class, you know that you have a boy. She's she going to love you, but at the same time, you're going to have discipline. The Milken Educator Award goes to Shakima Sabay. When I look at from a demographic perspective, Mount Zion is largely black and Latino. Some people love their kids and don't get any results. You love your kids in a school that, at least in 2009, 2010, didn't meet AYP. Yet you are a teacher who has been awarded one of the most prestigious awards in education, period. Well, I was one of 11 teachers in the state who had a 100% pass rate on all of my state standardized testing. But you don't teach like the other teachers teach. No, I don't. What do we know about power? She's like, technology can be used for teaching. She said, it's on us not to abuse it. We use things like Twitter to get in contact with other students at other schools. We blog every week, and with those blogs, we are able to connect with those all over the world. This is a bring your own device classroom. Maybe the county would like for us to have certain things, but we can't afford it. So we do what we can. Almost every student I have has a cell phone. You're teaching them English. Mm -hmm. AP English. Using their cell phones. Using their cell phones. You're not hamstringed by the limits of cash coming to you or the limits of technology. People tell me all the time that the kids can't do the work because they don't have access to the technology. If you look around, uh, dictionaries, these are the only dictionaries I have. These right here? These right here. Wait, you got 26 kids, seven dictionaries. Right, but we make it work. They have to have the dictionary.com app downloaded on their phone. That's free, right? I get them to write more using the blog and they engage in dialogue. So it's a life course as well. Because you're in a Title I school, do you feel that there's a, an achievement gap between you and your ability to use digital literacy? I see that. My community is hurting, and it's time for everybody to get this type of education and not just the students in 110. You can't do this in eight and a half hours. Nope. You have kids, mm -hmm. you have a husband. Some real costs you gotta pay in order to do this. I want my kids to change the world in ways that matter the most to them. I don't, I don't have these specific desires for them, and I do what's good for the children that are in these seats, and that's why I come to work every day.